Hi guys, welcome to the Unpopular Opinion. I'm Kemi. Claire. And we're real. Raw. And, and we're, we're saying, saying it all. all. Better. You still came in late, but better. Attention. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thanks for joining us for another episode of the Unpopular Opinion. As you can see, we have some amazing guests with us. If you've seen the topic, you're going to know why these ladies are joining us. Let's get the basics out of the way. Subscribe. Follow us on social media at the Unpopular Opinion UG. We are now also on Twitter at U O U G. Oh, we are also on podcast AfriPods. <sighs> Guys, we are on podcast. I, I feel like by now, by now you know, right? The links are all uh, below. If you prefer listening to us on podcast, you can check us out on podcast in the description. If we haven't yet come to your preferred podcast, we are give coming. us some time. <laughs> we'll be there in a bit. Anyway, yes, Prim is not around. Don't panic. Do not panic. Let's like deep breaths. She'll be back soon. She's taking a little break. And in the meantime, we have some amazing guests joining us. Today's conversation is in particular. These are some very relevant, relevant guests to join us for this conversation. Hi, ladies. Welcome. Thank you. This face you might be familiar with already. Sharifa has been with us on like, I don't know, maybe three or four episodes yeah. in the past. Yeah. Three. Yeah. yeah, so this is Sharifa Namusisi. She is a therapist. Please follow her on Let's Fix It Counseling. Uh, but you will find some very interesting... I feel like people sometimes think story. your page is about spicy stuff. <laughs> it's not just about spicy stuff. It's also like real serious things of let's discuss about life. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. mental health and all that stuff. So welcome, Sharifa. Welcome back. Thank you. Always a pleasure to have you. Oh, same. Always happy to be here. And then this face you may not be familiar with, but she is also on the internet. Please follow her at Ask Me About The Law, right? Yes. This is Joanne Nagawa, and she's joining us because today's conversation needs, we need some legal, professional, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that we don't lie to you guys. As you guys know me, I'm not a pretend lawyer at this point. I just, <laughs> it's pretend. But welcome, Joanne. We're really excited to have you. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Thanks for making the time, ladies. Today's conversation is going to, we're going to start with a situation because when we talk about assets and relationships, we feel like this situation will bring us into the conversation nicely, so... Let me get into it. This is actually a question that was posed to Sharifa on her page, and we thought, let's use this to guide our conversation around relationships and assets. For context, when I say assets, I mean property, actually specifically property, you know, whether you're married or unmarried, what does this property thing look like? How should you be protecting yourself? All that good stuff. Okay. I loved this guy so much that I put the car in his name upon payment completion. Now he has the guts to sit me down um, on a bike and he drives his wife around. <coughs> his, <laughs> wife, his wife is a stay-at-home mom with four kids. I have one and expecting our second. But Sharifa, none of my kids are mentioned in that will, not even me. When I confronted him, he told me I am smart enough to work for myself and our kids, but his first wife is a loss. Where do you guys fish this man from? <laughs> anyway, continue. She doesn't... Oh no, this is so derogatory. Okay. She doesn't have the brains to survive if you are not here. He said this as if it was supposed to... As if I was supposed to take it as a compliment. Yes, I love him. Sis, you love... Okay. Yes, I love him. We moved into the house three months ago, and the next plan was to start constructing rentals, which he asked me if his first wife can take up one so that she too stops renting. When I told him that's not something I'm comfortable with, he told me not to have a bad heart towards his innocent kids. <laughs> it continues, guys, it hasn't ended. It hasn't ended. He always makes me feel like a I'm terrible struggling. person. We are all, we are all struggling. <laughs> even <laughs> <I'm stressed. laughs> he always makes me feel like a terrible person whenever I don't give in to his demands. I'm confused because I feel like I've invested so much um, in all this for him to just take it away. But he's telling me his first wife had to be in the will because she stood by him at his worst. Is there a lawyer who can advise me on how to get my name on the will? I don't think I'm ready for separation because he's a good dad to his kid and, I'd, and I, want him, I want him to be in my kids' lives you know, for the long haul. How do I get the first wife off the will and take what belongs to me without escalating things? You 
Please help. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm, I'm so, like, so stressed. I have goosebumps. I'm sorry, I have so much to say. I feel like we all need like a moment to just like oh, just like, let's sing. Let's breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> do some box breathing. You can, first of all, where do these men live? In, uh, where do you fish them from? Okay. Oh my god. So we as we come down, as we come back down to earth, I'm we so can. stressed. <laughs> If we can, let's start. I don't even know where to start from because there are so many little things mm -hmm. in here. Yeah. So many little big things. So because specifically she was asking about, um, because she asked specifically about the will. Like I'm just going to open the, start the floor for flow. you. And for us, we just drink our water. <laughs> because we need hydration with we'll such sick. stories. <laughs> we'll get sick if we're not careful. So, Joan, what do you... She asked a couple of questions that even me as a pretend lawyer, I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> because she's asking how to get her name on the will. And the other Other ladies off. Of what is possible, what is not. Okay, first of all, there's a lot. I'm requesting that you help me bookmark okay. all the things because there's, okay. Okay. there's a lot. Okay. Let's start with... The okay. marriage bit. Yes, let's start with the fact. Um, it doesn't... I don't think she is. She's, yeah, it everyone. sounds like she's cohabiting with him. No, actually, like she's married. Side no, chick. he married her. He married her. He married her. But he has oh, a yeah. first wife, so he, he has two wives. Uh -huh, he has two wives. And it's legal in Uganda, <coughs> just to be clear. No, I think... Um, Traditional marriage? I need to clarify on some things in regards to that, because uh, generally society seems to have a different perspective of, perspective, perspective of that, sorry. Okay. And I need to clarify. See, most people presume that once you have a customary marriage, let's say um, she has a customary marriage, then the husband goes on to have a civil or a church, that those are two valid marriages, which is not true. If you had a customary marriage before and you proceeded and had a church or a civil, that civil marriage is it's invalid. So you're just peddling around with, hey, this is my husband, but if the day comes and we're in court, you're you can't married. say anything. Oh, wow. How many Ugandan so, women think they are married? That is now the no, issue. They're saying hubby. And they're My saying dad. hubby. Yeah. <sighs> but if oh, you have right. a customary marriage, if you had a customary marriage with wife for number one and proceeded customary marriage with wife number two, that's, that's legal okay. Because it's custom. Oh. Yes. Okay. Now that's the first thing we need to clarify. Just to re-echo this for anyone who's listening, because it's something again that comes on my table a lot. Just because you're staying with someone 10, 20 years, even if you have 10, 20 kids, you're not married. Even if you have property, nothing, you're not married to that person. So the sooner that sinks in and you realize that making all these developments, these, setting up all these assets with this person is not going to help you in any way. The only way that you can protect yourself and your children is by getting married or alternatively ensure that he has a will because life happens. He could die, life happens. Yeah. The only way that you can protect your kids if in that will he provides for you and your kids. But the problem is usually most women don't even know that the man has a will. This one is lucky that she has seen this will. Funny thing is, uh -huh. this guy has not even worked for anything. He has he because has a the will. woman has. Why does he even have a will? Just because I built the house on your land, it, it doesn't guarantee, guarantee you to make a will. It's my property. Yes, you own the land where we built the house. Yeah. Why are you writing a will? How do you what are the circumstances of that? Right? If she owns... Wait, he, he owned the land, the land and that is where, they, the yeah, where she built the house. Now, see, the dilemma is, eh? and maybe if in the financing, this is now where I, I need the ladies to wake up. They will finance the, the buying of land mm -hmm. and they forget to keep the proof. And then when he buys the land, it's in his name. Exactly. Then you sign as a witness. Now, in the unfortunate event that something happens, then now we end up in court. But in court, it will always be you are friend to him because you are not the wife. The first wife is, is the, the one, one who will take everything. priority, even if it was your income. Alternatively, we could fight and do the whole back and forth thing, but litigation is not cheap. Yes, it's very and it not, takes so and long. takes time. A lot can happen in that. He can, I mean, whoever is owning the estate at that point in time or managing the estate could sell that off. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, we will go back and forth and fight, things. but please, I hope that this will reach them and they will know. Just make sure your name, do not sign as a witness. Witness, there's usually a separate part. Mm. The argument, even if it's a cell agreement, it will still show you that the LC1 or whoever is facilitating the cell will point out and they'll read the whole agreement to you so that you know. Now, some tend to sign as the witnesses and think that they are they owning. They have signed. Mm -hmm. No, there's a difference between being a witness <laughs> and an owner. The owner, it will specifically state that owner. you are owning. So it has to be this person and, and this person. One. Exactly. Even the title, it will say uh, Prim and not, uh -huh. not just him. Do not think that because you sat in the meetings and you funded that you bought. No. Okay. So be married or be nothing. Yeah. Or if you you're, if you're in between, be don't invest your mind. Why are you making permanent decisions when you're in temporary situations? Jennifer, why? Because this lady is not alone. There are many stories yeah. we hear along these lines. Why, like, what, what is it in us that is, I don't know, like, what, is there something, like, inherently in women that drives us to, like, give? Give like that. Regardless, we don't, even if I'm not seeing the papers, even if I'm like, me, my man, my, my, man, my hubby. Man. Hmm. Okay, before I even answer that, I would like mm -hmm. to put out a disclaimer okay. that when uh, when she reached out that we're recording mm -hmm. about the q and A, I reached out to this specific client mm -hmm. to ask for permission okay. before we shared her story on a bigger screen because you guys have a bigger yeah, screen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, what is it in us, women? Okay, not all of us, not all women, mm -hmm. because I would rather die <laughs> than Kill go me. down that it's rabbit hole. Yes. Yeah. But it has also come from a from a place of I'm um, healing, because I think all me would have done this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would, I would speak for myself, the reason I would have done this before healing is because some of us are matter, you know what they call the matter complex? Yeah, yeah or the savior complex. Mm -hmm. Some of us, like, we've been conditioned to overperform, to please, to please, yes, yeah. or to receive love. Like, if I don't work for this, uh, will he love me? Will he see me? Will I matter? Will I mean something to him? And then when it comes to second wives, there is already that silent competition. And men don't like to admit this, but they put, uh, they put women in position to, oh, the other one is there. Mm. So I don't know what you're giving yeah, me. The other exactly. one is giving me this, this, and that kindly <laughs> exactly. improves. Thank you. <laughs> and you know, he's already saying, you're smarter, you're a hard worker. So she's like, yeah, I'm going to prove it. So everyone needs to first sit He's down. He's manipulating and, her. Exactly. We all need to sit down and first of all understand, are we self-aware? Yeah. Because our sister here has zero self-awareness. Mm -hmm. Just because the other one is not smarter like me doesn't mean I have to overperform. Uh, no, it's not a competition. Yeah. Yes. So I feel like for most women, it is a lack of self-awareness. Yeah. Period. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because if you were self-aware, you would clearly see that this guy is, number one, a user. Yeah, manipulative. Very manipulative, yes. Gas, there's a lot of gaslighting lazy. in here. And lazy. 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 <laughs> He's, man, lazy a lot. and entitled. Because <sighs> what do you mean? You've made a will. Right? What do you mean? <laughs> Over what? <laughs> and then you <sighs> want me to make sure that your other wife. But I think it's the first mistake she made was to be a second wife. In my opinion. <sighs> like you said, it, it's been normalized. Yeah. So lately, it's not really a mistake. It's something normal. And meanwhile, I, I know I didn't mention, these are Christians, they're not even Muslim. Yeah. Right? So, and, so, and that, that's what I mean, is that if, if I, coming into marriage is not supposed to, in my opinion, right. it's difficult, or naturally, with just two people. Sure. What about if you bring in a third person and they are all that they come with? I think having multiple wives mm. is one of the biggest scams that this life has ever given us in my opinion why because it's naturally difficult i've never spoken to anyone that has grown up in a in a blended family like that where there are so many wives or more than one wife mm. that have had it easy they have been that's traumatized well, you true. get and yeah. usually it's because of the selfishness of a man you get. Yes. That's because usually it's because of the selfish manness as a man. If a man is selfish enough to want to add, you know, mm -hmm. but even you as a wife, if you as a woman, coming and being a second wife, you will obviously automatically usually be treated less 
because you're the second. Maybe sometimes they treat them better. Can I say something? Uh -huh. Before you, you continue, I don't want to miss that. Most second wives, and not all of them, mm -hmm. most second wives believe that the reason I am second wife is because something marriage. is lacking yeah. in the first marriage. Mm -hmm. And that's always a mistake. Mistake. Yes, it is, it's always a mistake. A because mistake. if the first wife, there is something lacking, why is she still here? Yeah. True. Well, why isn't she divorced? Yeah. So for most women, yeah, they need to understand that. Interestingly, because mm -hmm. I'd ask my husband, like, like my husband keeps saying, me, I cannot get a second wife. I'm already first dealing with you. <laughs> <laughs> you get just one white woman is in is a lot. If I add another one, but now get, where do men get time to handle two women or two families or two whatnot? You, you know, know? Because we see these things so often. I think like what keeps coming to my mind is you can only do so much about what a man is going to do. Yeah. We have to start protecting ourselves better. Thank you. Good. Thank you. But I feel like it's good to, to see red flags. For me, mm -hmm. a red flag is someone who has who wants me to be a second wife. Just say a person who's That's, already married. Who's already <laughs> married. <laughs> That's a red flag because you have sworn, especially because I'm, I'm, Muslims are different because that's the culture, mm -hmm. that's the religion, that is, it's accepted, mm -hmm. you get. But when it comes to other religions, other specifics, because Muslim women are even protected, sure. actually, by the, by the Islamic law. Oh, yeah. The Sharia law protects the women. They're supposed to be treated a certain type of way. You cannot... Equally. Equally, yeah. exactly. You know, this man is not treating these women equally. Mm -hmm. And... I don't know, I feel like I'm seeing more Muslims marrying one wife. Yeah. Oh, yes. Has that become more popular? Let me I feel tell like you I'm something. seeing it more and more. Yeah. I, I know people do not like to speak on this, mm -hmm. but it's not a must to marry two, three, four it's women. Not a must. Yeah. No, it is not. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is a whole verse in the Quran, Surah and Nisa, for those who would love to go read it. It says, if you fear that you will not be just, then marry one. Yeah. So I need you to do your research. How many Muslim men do you know that are just to their wives? Yeah, no. Yeah, no, we, we shall oh, talk about some judgment. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. That's what I said. Okay. So, it's not a must. so again, and the, the legal issues are so many, I don't even know what to, I don't know what to pick out and what to not pick out, but when it comes to the issue of the will, what are her options here? Because I, I think that, she, I mean, she's asking, how can I get on that wheel and the other one gets off? But it doesn't work like that, yeah. surely. That's very true. It's not... I think her perception is the fact that she thinks she bought pop, uh, she bought the property and he's utilizing it however he pleases, then she thinks that entitles her to be in the will. Yeah. But the format of a will is what I want when I die. Those are the instructions in the will. It does not matter what you want. But um, the Succession Act, there's a recent amendment that came through, but even that, it does not protect her. Again, it protects the, the wife. It protects the wife, the legally married wife to him and the biological children. Oh my God. So, <laughs> like, I have a they, they, they are, they are so many, it's very particular. Yeah, it will stipulate that the legally recognized wife is entitled to this percentage of the estate and that is if he didn't provide for her in the will okay. now it will talk about <clears throat> other provide uh, other people that he was taking care of but the percentage it's that you small. get is too small in comparison to the investment she has made towards the whole relationship so for her to say that the legally recognized wife is removed from the will. No, that's not going to happen. Leg that's not going to happen. It's what I want when I die. It's his will, will his itself. document. He wrote it. What he wants is the supreme law. She yeah. is, I'm sorry for using this phrase, but she will be a by the way. Yeah. In the little that will remain, and as and that is now we're going back and forth to make the case that she that he was providing for her as a beneficiary. Take some time. Which will also take again. We're going back now to litigating back and forth, which is it's time consuming. It's not cheap. So just please oh my stick God. to marriage. So, it's so sad, you guys. oh my it's God, it's a lord. Oh. My, my head is paining. It's really starts from having to be the saviors of the world. Yeah, yeah. because I think that's it. we are carrying the and, and you know. I, I'm so glad that now we talk about it more. You know, all these images of women carrying firewood with yeah, a baby on the back. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wow, happy Mother's Day. What? Nice. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the image of Mother's Day? <laughs> 
suffering. Pure, pure suffering. Pure, pure a woman suffering. has to suffer yeah. to like get a place in society to or to even be considered, yeah, yeah, considered worthy to be considered. of wife material. or And you see, she mentions that the land where, I know the guy bought it, but she said that the land had encumbrances. Mm. And she, she paid. She must have paid. Oh, yes, she did. Yeah. She paid. So, yes, I know he bought it initially, but she helped with all the other issues that that land had. Yeah. Does she get to get back her money? You know, she asked me all these questions. I told her, I she don't won't. Know. He's clearly a lazy man. Why isn't he looking after her and his own children and his own wife? Why does she have to look after his wife and children? Do you think... <clears throat> Sometimes we also, we allow ourselves to be treated certain ways. Eh? Let me tell you. Like you allow, and someone says, ah, I've seen you. Let me continue to, mis to yeah. abuse. Fiona, when I am in therapy, if anyone can come out and tell you, I always ask you, what role are you playing in, in your, your own, own suffering? suffering? Mm -hmm. Because many of us, I, I always tell them, the man has already showed you who he is. Yeah. Why are you still here crying? He has already told you. I, I showed you in a thousand ways. I don't care. I don't love you. I'm using you. I'm an emotional abuser. And you're there saying, no, I'm going to build him. I love him. Oh my God, we have a future together. Yeah. Yeah. That is the role you are playing in your own suffering. Yeah. Refusing to recognize red flags yeah. for what they really are. Yeah. Uh, choosing to be delusional. And I have told this to so many. And she's doing that to herself. Mm. I hope she can finally recognize that. Yeah, Because yeah? she, wants, she wants her cake to have her cake and eat it too. Yes. That's what I'm reading. Mm -hmm. She wants to stay with a man that loves her. Does he love but her? That's the thing. She wants him to love her yeah. high enough to put her in the wheel. But she's already set a precedent for how she's, she's allowing him to treat, sure. to treat her. It's right. so sad. I feel like, because here, you know when she says um, that I love him, he loves me. I'm just like, eh, our perceptions of love are uh, really I distorted. Yeah. Yeah. Our perceptions yeah. of love are so distorted. Like, yeah. When I read this, and of course recognizing that we don't know her entire experience, mm -hmm. when you're an outside person, you read this, you're like, which love? Please show me because where it just the love is. Sounds because like he actually hates you. And yet you. she has something that she's interpreting. <laughs> You're right. It he sounds, sounds like, like he, hates, he hates, her. hates her. And yet there's something that she has held on to somewhere yeah. that she has interpreted as genuine love. love. Eh. Yeah. Sharifa, how do we protect ourselves? Like, how do we... I feel like... Uh, because of, uh, you see, like, earlier when we were talking, we were saying we all have our stuff. Yeah. Whether it's from family, we do. nature, nurture, yeah. all the things that we experience um, affect how we relate and whatever so much. But in this growth and in this trying to heal, mm -hmm. like how do we how do we start at least just start to correct our views on what love looks like? Because a lot of these distortions are just based on what we've we seen. Like, yes, yes. We are we see something and it's familiar. Yeah. And you're like, oh yeah, no. They used to my dad used to treat me XYZ. That that's, that's that yeah. seems yeah. familiar, yeah. that's comfortable. Yeah. yeah, no, but you you you've actually seen some of the Q and A's, all the women in these situations end up saying, But I love him. Yes. Yeah. And, and he, he loves me. And he loves yeah, me I too. Loves me. But and then they put a but. You know, they are now, now making excuses for the other person. Yeah. So, and, and I'm always telling these people that, that the fact that you're trying to make an excuse to stay in that situation yeah. is a problem in itself. So for me, like you already hinted, it goes back to our childhood pro programming. Yeah. I'm sure if you put up a quiz after this and ask women, how many of us have seen our mothers build our fathers like this? Oh, you did like this. Shooting it up. You should. You should. You're going to see the biggest percentage have seen it growing up. Yeah. And two things can happen. Two things can come out of that scenario. One, you either learn from it and hate lazy men to the core. Mm -hmm. Or two, it becomes so normal and familiar that you do the, same, you do the same. Thank you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I learned the opposite. I'm yeah. like, oh, hell no. I will never end up with a man like that. Mm -hmm. Like now for me, it was complete disgust. Of, no, I want a leader. I want a man I can follow. I want a man I can grow with. I want a man who can build me. I can build him. I want a supportive man. Mm -hmm. That is too heavy. I was too heavy on my mom. And I don't want to ever see that happen to another person. So there are people who will learn that lesson. Yeah. And there are those who will go like, my mom didn't die. Yeah. She survived. Mm -hmm. We grew up together. And she was loved. Thank you. But they don't know how depressed their moms were. They yeah. don't know the burdens yeah. their mothers have carried. They don't know how painful it was for them. So... You, you, get, you get the answers, we'll see. Mm -hmm. But it all goes back to our childhood programming. Yeah. Most of the things we've seen, we need to relearn and unlearn most of these things that we've seen growing up. Just I, because we saw it doesn't mean it's no more. Do you think um, that now she needs to go, because there's nothing we can do about his will. 
There's yeah, nothing okay. you can do. You can't get yourself into the wheel. You can't True. get her out of the wheel. I think you just need to start, take a stand for your own property mm -hmm. and fight for it now before he dies. Yes. Because once he dies, then it's another you're struggle done. altogether. Exactly. You're fighting now the other woman who has a lot more power exactly. than you do. You, who she's recognized. You have no power at all. Um, so I'm thinking she needs to do. Did you recommend that she maybe does some therapy to come back to? what she deserves, the kind of love she deserves, because she's allowing herself to be loved in a way that is, they basically suffer love. Which <laughs> 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 yes. it's, it's what most women are used so, to. And sometimes I, found, I find that when you go back to yourself and you heal your own wounds, it's easier to confront these things because you have strength. Because the way she's talking, she's very weak. Mm. Emotionally very weak. Yeah. She doesn't think she has a choice but to give this man but you do have a choice you know take back your power and i think that might be coming that might come really well by seeing a therapist no true mm -hmm. you you've, you've heard of the pick needs yeah there is it, it is in there oh, yeah. oh my god if i can only do this choose. much more he will choose me mm -hmm. yeah and it's happening to many second wives and many women even if you're not a second wife it is always i want him to choose me yeah. go back to your childhood did you ever feel neglected did you ever feel unseen, unheard? Did you ever have that need to, oh my God, I wish my parents could just see me. I wish, I'm, I'm, the, I'm a middle child, we're talking about it. Mm -hmm. And I always had that need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry to, to, yeah, I always had that need to be, like my parents never saw me at all. Because you have these older kids. Exactly. And, and then the younger ones, and then you're just Thank there. You. Were you rebellious? That explains the piercings and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, met, I met an adult who kept telling me, but... I, I don't understand why an adult would go get all these piercings. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 I got these piercings when I was in my form too. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what? Are you serious? I'm like, yes, I did. And now that I'm healing, I, it goes back to, I wanted my mom to just see that, oh, my God, she got a piercing. Mm -hmm. But every and time give me some mom, attention. Yeah, and every time my mom would see those piercings, she'll be like, oh, Japan every Monday. And then she would walk <laughs> out. And I'm like, that's it. That's it. That's all the very yeah. tiny little bit of attention. <laughs> that's it, like yeah. that's all she would say to me and yeah. then I think the only time she gave me attention yeah. was when I was expelled yeah. but it was for a day and after I got punished <laughs> after I got punished uh, she moved on with her life yeah. but then I got some attention and now I kept doing that yeah. mm. I kept getting expelled from school I'm like yeah last time she saw me like she sat down with me and she asked yeah. me what was the problem I felt hurt I felt seen I enjoyed that mm. but now what that has also done for me after now I have healed is I am very comfortable not being seen. I'm very comfortable not being chosen. If you love me, good. If you don't, no problem. Mm. It is okay. So for me, I've turned out great, alhamdulillah. Mm. But now we have people like our sister and so many other women who are like, I would rather die than, than not be chosen. Yeah. So there is that pick me element in here mm. of that first wife is useless. Yeah. That first wife has not built you. She has not mm. supported you. Guess what? I'm smart. I have the money. I work in a bank. Pick me, pick me. And do you know, <laughs> men have a sixth sense. Oh, yeah. Actually, generally, human beings who mm. want, because even women, yeah. mm. we find, if I want something from you and I don't actually care about you, I'm going to find that car sport. Right. The button, yes. the car button. Yes. Yep. And let me tell you, no one knows it better than men, in my opinion. They smell <laughs> the They will smell the disparate. They will know your buttons because mm. you can see from the, that email that he says, she is not as smart as you. Yeah. Mm, you get it. that is a compliment, but is it really? No. He's telling you you're the woman that I think is worth it. Cool, yeah. <laughs> and then when you don't fall for that, he comes in of you don't want to have a bad heart, do you? You're mm. mistreating my innocent uh -huh. innocent, innocent kids. children. Oh. Gaslighting. <laughs> May I say it stand again? I do not though they are your innocent they children. Are not mine. They are not mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of like even just like the protecting part of uh, even protecting ourselves legally because mm -hmm. this also brings up in my mind like the whole thing of being a stay-at-home mom because there's a first wife eh? like even mm -hmm. if we just shift perspective slightly yeah um, whatever she's contributing to his you know i don't know growth or whatever um and there's you know i mean assuming maybe even her she's not a legal wife i don't know but there's so many women like, I, I see those situations coming up online as well. People talking about, oh, you know, we've never been legally married, but I did this. You know, I was a stay-at-home mom doing the 1,000 things that stay-at-home moms do to make homes run and, mm -hmm. you know, to grow people. Like, what... I know you've already given us the advice of, by the way, just marry or be, be nothing. Mm -hmm. 
but now for the people who have already <laughs> were there and, and, and you know, and a husband, well, not a husband, the, the person. The living boyfriend. Legal friend. Friend of. <laughs> they actually refer them to, to refer to you as friend of, friend of the husband. Mama, so oh. Friend of the man. Mama. You are a friend. Of a and I, well, nah. Even if you have, yes, so you are a friend. Yes, with your so friend. You are a friend. The law requires you. It calls you a friend. That's what he lives with friends. The law requ- oh, yes. refers to you as a friend. That is how yes. much, <laughs> like, do you see, but you guys understand how much weight a wife, a legal wife has. Yeah. So for those people, like when that happens, what is their, what is their, what is their, do they have any recourse? If you're cohabiting, you've been with him 10, 20 years. Yeah. I think one of the first things I would encourage you to do when it comes to property, try to get your name on those documents. After he has died? No, no before, before no. he dies. One of the first things I want to encourage you is now that you're watching this, mm-hmm. please go out of your way. If he's still alive, try. This is going to sound very desperate. <laughs> we are desperate at this Beg. <laughs> convince him I don't know do whatever you do to get your names on those documents if it's not your names at least get the children yeah. because as a legal guardian as Yo. the mother mm. of the children in as much as yes sometimes when they grow up but as long as they're 18 and below mm-hmm. you would be the first priority as the person who has the best interests of the child and the law is, tends to gravitate to the parents and it presumes that you are the first go-to person mm. who has the best interests of the child. So if you feel like him putting your name will be a problem, which most likely it will be a problem. He hasn't it, done it. it, it, it he would have already yeah. done it. Yeah. Exactly. So try to instead convince him. It's for the children. The children can get their names on the documentation. Yeah. And it's, it's a very, very quick process. Yeah. Just simple transfer, everything is done. That's the first thing I would recommend. Then to... If you could keep every document, yes, it's going to now go back to the whole back and forth. I contributed this and this and that, but at least you have standing ground. Yeah. Don't give him cash. Transfer mm. your and Hand. then put a reason. There is a bank. There's a what? There's a bank trail. <laughs> yes. exactly. There's a bank even if trail. Because even mobile money has trail. True. You just exactly. put a reason. There's always a reason. A ha- specify if he has asked for a loan. I'm going to pay balance for that car. Ooh. I'm giving you balance for that car. Yeah. I've given you this. Yeah. You get yeah. it sounds psycho. I mean, by then you're in love, but he doesn't need to know about it. Yeah, but when you're in love, you can't even think about this. I know. <laughs> you watch you guys, <laughs> so I feel. I feel like right now we need to get into. We need to go into the situations woke. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. And I know shows mm-hmm. like this are kind of putting men on their tentacles like this because we are now getting women. A wiser, bit, yes, right. people. People are getting wiser from mm-hmm. learning from other people's experiences. Mm-hmm. However. I just keep saying, I keep saying right now the, the marriage success rate Mm-mm. is about 40%. It's less than 50. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And those are the people that get divorces. Mm-mm. Those are the ones that are file, actually file for divorce and separate. Mm. They are those ones who are married but divorced. <laughs> they don't live <laughs> because of different reasons. Mm-mm. So the statistics of success in marriage, regardless of how in love you are mm-hmm. at the beginning, are getting less and less and less. Use that mm-hmm. even when you're in love. Let it give you the speed governor. Mm-hmm. You know, the shock absorbers. Because you need that. If you're going love, 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 you're going to, I mean, if you choose still, that's on you. Mm-hmm. You get. But you have to go into these things knowing that it's no longer a 100% success rate as it was 100 years right ago. Day, yeah. You know, right now the statistics are less than officially they're less than 50 percent but unofficially they could even be 20 percent mm-hmm. how many people are married and unhappy single. Oh. you get and single how many single married mothers do you know about and for me i think that is something to think about when you're making these decisions mm-hmm. you get you are not going to buy property when i'm not there mm-hmm. when i am i have not signed now of course there are some people who do it in secret now Mm-hmm. That's different. Mm-hmm. You get. But when I give you my money, dear, no, it's not you no, you no 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 no. You get eh? I have to be there and I have to sign. I know you love me and I know you will never fleece me. Mm. But just in case. Just, yeah, but just in <laughs> case. Just in case. <laughs> no, but you know we grow and change. So mm-hmm. I think we you always do. need to always yeah. have that at the back of our yeah. minds. Yeah, you know, where you were ten years ago is not where you are right today. Now, yeah. Yes, where we were. Uh, people won't believe, but I've been yeah. a stay at home mom before for four mm. years. Yeah. 
and when I got out of that, my husband couldn't believe the kind of person I was because I was uh -huh, totally different. Yeah. yeah. But also, the day we posted this, the questions were, so are you saying that we are not supposed to build with our partners? I don't know if you were following that day, but now people were attacking. You know this conversation that we're having? Mm. All the people who are commenting stuff like this, of protect yourself, blah, blah, blah. and women were like, so are you saying we shouldn't build with our men? You guys are giving us my information, toxic, what? I don't know what he's saying, man. Why, buddy? I, I, I kept telling these people, listen, you are allowed to build with your you partner. You can build, but you but need with to do sense. it. Don't be naive. Don't be naive. Yes. Don't be naive. Don't they can coexist. Yeah. Support like everything. So, and these are women, by the way, because a man, if you, he gave you money, do you know how he needs to be the one to say? You get, like, if the, if the tables were reversed, reversed right. and it's the man who gave you money to go and buy that property, will he not make sure it's in, he, at the very least, he's, he's protected? Okay, yes, there are, there are men who buy for their wives. Mm. properties they that they are not on but mm. that's his job mm. that is his quite literally his job you get mm. if you're going to give money and you're going to say ah, ah, me, i love my man i trust him just know you're giving charity you get you <laughs> might be there's a huge chance that you might be <laughs> giving charity <laughs> and the only person to blame yes. is yourself mm. because not even in a in a situation where you're alive you're not alive mm -hmm. When you die and yeah. every single thing is in his name, do you know who's going to take it? His next wife. But it's the truth. We, we need to always his look at reality. Wife. Your yeah. own children are going to be set aside. You're going to have to pray that his next wife is a Lenient. good woman. I know. Mm. Chances? What are the chances? What are the odds? The days? chances? Slim. Ah. Very. So we have to, you guys, we have to have the audacity of men. Yeah. We have to have it. You know, they say have the audacity of a mediocre white man. <laughs> And it's hard, of course, because the truth is we, we've grown up in patriarchal systems. Yeah. And I know people don't want to hear feminism, what, but the truth is feminism is relevant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's relevant for us to keep it on is. pursuing equity because, yes, it's 2024 and we're not where our ancestors were, but we're also far from where we need to be, you guys. Yeah. The gender pay gap is still huge. I actually don't think it's only here. It's mm -hmm. everywhere. The Europe's and all the places we think are Amazing. doing the thing. It's, it's wild. So we yeah. have to have the audacity of men and just like... You know, let's go for it. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to move us into just like our sort of parting shots. Um, as we close, because there's, there's really a lot to be said. I don't think that this is the kind of situation that we can get into everything, but having heard what we've heard, you know, what would you like, like the viewer or the listener who either has been th through a certain situation or is just a fresh person who we, w we want to protect <laughs> from ever getting themselves in, in that, in man, in something like this? And when I get this lady, eh? my heart. Eh? Her. Our hearts, actually. Oh, yeah. I, I, there's no woman who can read this and not feel some type of yeah. way. Like, okay. it's a lot. Because even when I think about the first lady, the, the yeah. first wife, the actual wife, I'm like, eh, eh, like, what do you mean? All of this is happening around you. It is, it is a lot. Yeah. But yeah, Shafer, what are your parting thoughts? Um, you know, especially from the angle of just mental health and <sighs> relating. It, it feels this way. If you, it, it feels this heavy and exhausting and draining. It is not healthy. Yes, because I, I know love is not a bed of roses, but it shouldn't be this hard. Mm -hmm. And every time you feel like, ah, man, this is heavy. This is, this is I'm doing too much. And is this a, it, the minute we start questioning mm -hmm. whether it should be that way or the other way, it's a sign to either go seek help, run and protect yourself. Mm -hmm. And woman, there is nothing wrong with building with your man. I, I would be a hypocrite if I told you don't build with a man. I am building with my man but I am building with sense. Oh. Yes, just like she said. Yeah. yeah uh, I, I, when I'm teaching women about financial independence in therapy, I'm telling them, look, your account, his account, to joint account. If you choose to build with your partner, you can have your own money. My counseling money goes on my counseling account. His money goes on his account. If we decide to build something together, then we have a joint account yeah. for that. So it's yes. clear. Thank you very much. The trail much. is clear. Mm -hmm. No it other is woman clear. is going to ever come and say, that, oh my yeah, God, I believe These are for my children. Ah, 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 hey, those children will suffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but seriously, for me, uh, I, I always tell people that the, 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 when you start to feel the need to overperform, to be loved, it's a sign to seek therapy. Yeah. Yes. And if it's that heavy and exhausting, please seek therapy. And in any relationship, 
please make sure you protect yourself, whatever that looks like. And that means boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Period. You know, boundaries are freedom. But boundaries are yes. freedom. They protect your love. Yes. They protect your relationship and your marriage. Oh, yes. That's, That's something I've learned. But well, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, for many of us who have seen our parents build together, yeah. we know how it has ended. For some, it has ended well. We've seen people who have built together, mom and dad built together, everything and went well. Fine. And they're very okay, yes. So you can learn a thing or two from them. And for some of us who have seen it go to hell, you also pick something from it. After your dad died, what happened? After your mom died, what happened? Yeah. Yes, what happened to you as the children? Yeah. You learn from it. Do not repeat the same mistakes. I think the word is let's just break curses. Let's let's be the break generational, generational break, cur yeah. curse breakers. We have to be those. Yeah. Yes, okay. twenty twenty four and moving forward. That's it. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, Joanne. I think shots? the one thing that I'd like to emphasize is please trust your gut. Trust your gut. If you feel like something feels off. Just walk to a lawyer, ask for help. As long as you have the paper trail, they will point out the loopholes that you're not seeing because you'll probably see looking at this person through that, that yeah. tinted lens. lens. Yeah. And that's, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's cute. But just ask. Yeah. Because they're not in a relationship, they're not invested. They can see through everything with a very, very detailed lens and they will tell you what you're signing up for. If they they give you a contract, because most times they'll bring this document and say, hey, honey, sign this. You haven't even read, mm. but you're signing because this is the love you of my trust. life. You yeah. trust. And it's not bad to trust. But just take a picture, send it to your lawyer. Yeah. Just trust, but verify. But yeah. because humans, be cautious. Humans. At the end of the day. Even when they ask you, oh, can I, how, can I borrow money for this or do that? Just keep the paper trail for that. Because all these documents now, when you take them to cancel and whatever, they will help you. Think about this not only for yourself, but for your kids. Mm -hmm. Because the whole back and forth, we're going to go, I mean, litigation is more like today you go to court, the judicial officer is not around, postpone two months. Meanwhile, the estate is what? Going to waste. Mm -hmm. And that's when you also come to court and then you find out he had four other wives. Yeah. You know, the like only ten one. Children. And like ten children. And the law looks at all of them as beneficiaries. They have to. But because you signed and you didn't, and not, no one is saying that's a bad thing, but please take care of yourself. Yeah. Oof. Amen. Make that effort. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I mean, I hope that something I don't know, some some bit of wisdom has like grabbed you i think like having experts on i think one of the things that we always want for you guys is to be able to remember that it's good to get help you can't be an expert in everything um find a lawyer to advise you on how to do certain things if you need a therapist speak to a therapist there's no shame there's no i think it can only improve you it can yeah. only take you forward so find the help you need whenever you need it yeah. because this <laughs> clearly this stuff is it can get really complex really quickly yeah. and you can also just as quickly protect yourself and just be done with yeah. it yeah. i think it's also something that's very important to my part in shorts is treat your person like they're human mm -hmm. and they are going to make a mistake sure. yeah yes. if every single thing is in his name and nick then somehow he he becomes a money he goes, he's going to money lenders mm -hmm. or he's, those are mistakes that every normal, even the most decent person can, can go, make, can make, you know, yeah. how are you protecting yourself? Are you, all your property is going to be sold off while you're watching? Because if your name is there, that is how you protect yourself and your children. You know, treat your spouses like they're human beings who will make a grave mistake that you may never, ever be able to recover from. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's, I mean, that's it from us for this episode, but we'd love to hear from you. And um, in a special way, please follow these guys. Follow Let's Fix It Counseling, that's Sharifa, and Ask Me About the Law, that's Joanne. Um, on Instagram, we'll leave their links as well. Joanne shares a lot of really, like, detailed videos about interesting little things, whether it's property or, like, the other million things that the law talks about that affect us in every way, whether you're a business. She shares some really good information. So follow her, follow Sharifa. Um, again, Sharifa's business, I feel like people sometimes come to your page to just see scandal. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> scandal. <laughs> but Sharifa is very wise. 
<laughs> and knowledgeable like in our profession so there's a lot to be learned there yeah. so thank you for joining us guys we hope you'll see you next time in the next episode of the unpopular opinion before we close as always a very big shout out to Zo Media Hub who do our filming our production all the beautiful sets you see are designed by Zo so if you want if you're a creator or I don't know whatever form of creating you're doing this is an amazing place to check out description has all the information and we'll see you next time bye bye